What's up everyone? I got a little micro video for you guys today where I'm going to show you how to put one of these in here and also to install some of that Intel RAM as well. So as I said, we're going to be showing you how to install an Intel CPU today. And our candidate for today's video is going to be Intel's new i7 Skylake. So this is the 6700K. And our subject motherboard here is going to be the MSI Gaming M7. Now you can apply this knowledge to any sort of, uh, any sort of, uh, Intel chip based installation, at least anything that's not the 23 or 2011 v3 model so we're just going to start by pulling this retention arm out off to the side here allowing it to lift up this is a bit of a, a spring-loaded mechanism so it'll kind of do it by itself pull all the way back on it and this will cause this cover to lift up you can lift the cover up the rest of the way there and then we're going to find this little gold triangle at the bottom of our cpu and we're going to line it up with the etched out triangle that they will usually have on here. Oh, well, right here they have it etched out on the cover, so there's the triangle etched out on the plastic there. So we know we got to make our triangle go over in that direction. Just let it sit on there. And unlike a uh, AMD CPUs, Intel CPUs pins are on the motherboard. So these are flat on the bottom, so you can just kind of just line it up and just let it sit on there. I like to give it a bit of a wiggle, make sure it's settled in there just fine. And then we're just going to close the cover on this right here, making sure it's behind the screw still. And then we'll lower this retention arm, whoops, we'll lower this retention arm all the way down like so. And it should just cause the cover to be popped off easily. I advise hanging on to this cover here for you. If you need to RMA the motherboard, like say if it doesn't work or if you break something on the motherboard, to ship it back, they will not take the motherboard unless you have this cover on it. So keep that in mind. And for installing RAM, RAM is also very easy to install. So I'll just get this out of the package here. And here we have Ripchaw's V series or their 5 series DDR4 memory because the Skylake series CPUs do support DDR4 as well as this motherboard. So for installing your, uh, your memory here, if you want to do it in a dual channel fashion, you have to look up in your user, user manual uh, which channels are paired with which. And usually most motherboards will uh, do an alternating sort of pattern on their channels. So I'm going to be doing uh, the, the slots 1 and slots 3. Because that one, those ones are paired off for their first section of memory. So you just got to find the notch in the bottom of your RAM. Find the, the little uh, separator in the RAM slot as well. And you're just going to line those up. And then once you have it all lined up and in the slot, you have these, uh, these locking mechanisms open already for it. You're just going to push down firmly on both sides, causing both sides of the locking mechanism to close on, them, on their own. So I'm just going to do this one more time. And there we go. And voila. You've just installed a CPU and DDR4 RAM. This also works for DDR3 RAM, though the separator is going to be in a different area so as, just, so as you don't mistakenly install DDR3 where DDR4 is supposed to be and vice versa. Well, this has been Gigahertz TV, guys, for a little micro video on how to install some basic components here. Give it a like if you thought it was pretty cool, maybe a dislike. If you didn't need to see anything like this, it's fine with me. Uh, 
leave a comment in the comments down below if you need to see something else on how to do on a computer. And I will gladly show you guys with a little micro video like this. These are pretty easy. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Rick signing off.